You won't believe what Tesla just revealed. This $7,559 tiny house could change how we live forever. Wait till you see what's inside. It's way more advanced than anyone expected. California has long claimed that its housing crisis can be solved through accessory dwelling units, or a DUs, but the reality behind that promise is far more complicated. Even though the state law prevents cities from imposing minimum lot sizes, more than one in three ADU applications still stall or fail due to local hookup rules, utility restrictions, and slow regulatory approvals. Against this backdrop, Tesla's new tiny house enters the stage. And it's not just another minimalist cabin, it's a complete rethinking of what a home can be. With its 2.5 kilowatt solar array and 13.5 kilowatt hour power wall, this small structure doesn't depend on any external hookups. It produces stores and manages its own energy, allowing homeowners to live entirely off-grid if they choose. The concept directly challenges the traditional building codes that assume every home must be tied to municipal power, water, and sewer systems. And that's exactly where the real battle begins, not in the technology which Tesla has clearly mastered, but in whether local and state regulators will allow innovation to move faster than the outdated laws that were written for a different era. Elon Musk's approach with this $7,559 home isn't about luxury or excess. It's about demonstrating how affordability, sustainability, and independence can coexist. California's ADU system may have good intentions, but in practice, it often traps applicants in endless paperwork and unexpected costs. The irony is hard to miss. A supposedly flexible policy meant to make housing easier has turned into a bureaucratic maze that stops ordinary families from building what they need most. That's why Tesla's design hits so hard. It doesn't just sidestep red tape. It exposes how outdated the rules have become. The company is betting that technology can simplify what the law has complicated, offering an energy-efficient, prefabricated structure that could be delivered, installed, and powered up without waiting months for permits or inspectors. While lawmakers talk about density, zoning, and setbacks, Tesla is building an entirely new category of living space, one that's lighter on the grid, cheaper to own, and faster to deploy. Yet behind all this progress lies a fundamental question. Can a house that runs on solar and battery power truly escape the grasp of regulation? Because if it can, Tesla might have just done what no other company dared challenge. Not only the utility monopolies, but the entire notion of how a home should connect to society's systems. The idea sounds simple. A small, smart, self-sustaining shelter designed for modern realities. But the implications are enormous, especially in places like California, where energy prices keep climbing and housing permits are harder to get each year. It's not hard to see why families looking to escape rent increases or utility bills are suddenly paying attention. They see in Tesla's concept a real possibility, a path out of dependence on both landlords and local grids. And while critics say it's just another tech experiment, the early response suggests otherwise. Interest has been explosive, especially among younger homeowners and remote workers who want flexibility over permanence. In this video, we'll break down the numbers, the policy conflicts, and the economics behind this small but powerful idea. Tesla's tiny house is more than just a structure. It's a symbol of what happens when engineering pushes back against regulation. And as we approach 219,755 subscribers, I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been following our coverage of Tesla's innovations. Your support helps us dive deeper into how technology is reshaping not just transportation or energy, but the very concept of home. The real test, however, begins when these homes face zoning boards and planning commissions. In California, for example, Tiny homes that fall under the classification of recreational vehicles often need to do permits, which require a minimum 400 square foot foundation, a rule that makes Tesla smaller, its design automatically ineligible. This leads to roughly 25% of applications being rejected outright, even before the first solar panel is installed. The situation in Florida isn't much better. Their state laws mandate 150 square feet per occupant, and local jurisdictions add their own layers of conditions, making it nearly impossible for small families to find affordable placement. On top of that, 
Yearly appeal processes can cost between $2,000 and $5,000. Turning what should be an affordable housing solution into a bureaucratic nightmare? These are not hypothetical challenges. They're real financial traps affecting. Americans who believed a tiny home would finally help them gain stability. For many, the paperwork alone now costs more than the home itself. The situation becomes even more revealing. When we look beyond California and Florida, across the U.S., zoning laws, neighborhood associations, and energy codes all operate under a logic that assumes permanence and dependency, that every home must be plugged into the same system. Tesla's $7,559. Tiny House flips that idea on its head. Built with lightweight prefabricated panels and integrated smart systems, it's designed to be set up within days, not months. The home can operate independently with zero emissions. Collecting its own energy and recycling water through compact filtration, in essence, it's not just a dwelling, but a self-contained ecosystem. That independence, however, is exactly what makes governments nervous. When a product like this reduces demand for utilities, it indirectly threatens local revenues, zoning fees, and permit-based income. So while the engineering is brilliant, the pushback isn't about whether the house works, it's about whether the system can tolerate freedom. This tension between innovation and regulation defines much of what's happening now in the housing market. Tesla isn't the first company to imagine a smaller, smarter home, but it's the first to integrate it seamlessly with renewable energy and scalable manufacturing. Where others see architectural trends, Tesla sees a supply chain, one that can mass-produce livable units the same way it produces vehicles. This industrial mindset could finally make affordable housing a reality, but only if the legal system keeps pace. Each state interprets housing differently. Some classify tiny homes as recreational vehicles, others as mobile homes, and a few still refuse to recognize them at all. This lack of uniformity keeps innovation from spreading. For families trying to adopt Tesla's model, it means navigating a maze of contradicting codes and unclear insurance rules. Mortgage lenders, too, are uncertain. Since traditional home loans depend on permanent foundations and long-term land titles, most tiny home buyers must rely on personal loans or cash. That financial disconnect slows adoption even when the product is ready for the market. And yet, the appeal is undeniable. As rent prices rise and energy costs climb, people are rethinking what enough space really means. The $7,559 Tesla tiny house may not be luxurious, but it offers something far more valuable autonomy. For young professionals, retirees, and digital nomads, it represents a way to live sustainably without sacrificing comfort or technology. Inside, the space is optimized with foldable furniture. Modular storage and AI-based energy management that learns the residents' patterns over time. The power wall ensures consistent electricity, while the solar array adjusts automatically to sunlight conditions even during cloudy days. It's a blend of simplicity and intelligence that makes traditional housing feel outdated. Critics argue that Tesla is overhyping a niche concept, but the numbers suggest something bigger. Every time a city raises property taxes or a utility hikes connection fees, more people start exploring off-grid living. That curiosity fuels an entire ecosystem of solar installers, battery providers, and micro-home builders. What Tesla has done is bring those scattered efforts under one recognizable brand, brand that already symbolizes disruption. The company's entry into housing sends a signal to both policymakers and competitors. Energy independence is no longer a luxury. It's becoming mainstream. But as with every technological leap, politics quickly follows. Local construction unions worry about lost jobs if modular units replace traditional builds. Utility companies lobby to keep connection requirements mandatory. Even homeowners associations have begun rewriting their bylaws to ban off-grid properties. This resistance proves that Tesla's innovation touches something deeper than design. It challenges the economics of dependency. The battle is now cultural as much as it is technical. On one side are those who believe that homes must remain tied to existing infrastructure for safety, taxes, and order. On the other side are those who see that same infrastructure 
as the reason housing remains unaffordable and energy insecure. Elon Musk's philosophy leans decisively toward decentralization. If his vehicles can run without gas and his satellites can bring internet anywhere, why shouldn't a home generate and store its own power? In that sense, the Tesla tiny house is the physical embodiment of Musk's larger mission, a world where individuals own their energy, mobility, and data. Whether governments will let that world exist is another matter. Some regions are already exploring adaptive policies, testing pilot programs that let off-grid homes qualify as primary residences. Others, however, Rises continue to enforce old zoning categories that label them temporary structures. If Forcing owners to move them every few months, 26 degrees 